Hey guys, even here. So I was scrolling my Instagram and I saw this post of William Bonac. So I saw his arms. He was training his biceps here, obviously. And I was thinking, wow, those arms are insanely huge. A little bit too big, proportionally speaking. A little bit too huge compared to his forearms, his head and torso and everything that you can see right here of his body. Why is that? Why is that? Is he just genetically blessed? Like some guys like Phil Heath or Rolly Winkler? Or is there something else? Look at his biceps when he puts them down. His biceps are literally pushing his chest. <laughs> and this is him actually in the off season, so he's not full blown. He's just trying to, you know, stay as big and as full as he can in the off season before his prep starts. Obviously, he doesn't want to grow anymore because he has like maximum amount of muscle everywhere on his body. But take a look at his biceps right here. Look at that left bicep of his. It's literally pushing the chest. <laughs> and the right one too. His biceps are pushing the chest. Look at your biceps right now. Stay in the same position like him. Are your biceps close to pushing your chest? <laughs> I don't think I don't think that's going to happen. Of course, this guy is a, is a professional bodybuilder, second bodybuilder in the world. So yeah, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to compare him to us. But still, I mean, imagine this. Imagine this kind of muscle to be created by just training, eating, and using supplements. Is that even realistic? Is that possible? Is it? I mean, I don't know. I'm not saying that it isn't. I'm not an expert on this field, but I'm just asking you a question, basically. And I'm just, you know, expressing my suspicion. I don't know what is going on. I don't know if this is uh, just how his biceps are shaped or something like that. But it sure as hell does look a little bit weird. A little bit not normal. Take Phil Heath for an example. He probably has bigger arms than Bonek. Look at his arms now. Are they looking weird? No. No, they, they are huge. They are huge, but they don't look suspicious. His arms don't look normal at all. They look insanely freaking crazy. But still, I would not have any kind of suspicion when it comes to Phil. Phil doesn't need to train his arms. He probably never does. I mean, rarely, sometimes, for a video like this. But uh, when it comes to training, you know, prepping for a show, he doesn't do any bicep or tricep training. He just, you know, works his back and his chest and that's stimulus enough for his arms. I mean, this guy just imagines himself training biceps and they grow. They grow because he has those kind of genetics. It's obvious. But with Julian Bonac, it's kind of a little bit different. So this is Phil when he was very, very young. And here you can see that his arms were pretty much overpowering his entire physique. He was well aware, even back then, that he doesn't need to push his arms. If they grew a little, they would throw away the proportions and the balance of his physique. And in comparison to his arms, the rest of his body would look smaller. So Phil decided not to train them hard. Which was obviously the right decision. He became one of the best bodybuilders in the history of the world. Now here is a photo of a young William Bonek. Without a mustache. And he looks weird. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's not the point of this video. And here is a, a hacial hernia probably on his stomach that he most likely removed at some point in his career. And here you can see that his arms are not really that dominant. And his biceps are a little bit short. Same thing with his triceps. So you may even say that his arms were not a strong body part for him when he was younger. Would you agree with me? There aren't many photos of Bonac when he was uh, younger, but younger than this. I mean, super young. No, there aren't. I mean, this is basically the, the youngest that you can get, pretty much. So, I'm sure his arms were even smaller before this. Because here they're not super dominant, nowhere near to what they are today. So, somebody would probably make an argument that he's just genetically superior than the other guys. But is he really, though? I'm not saying that he doesn't have good arms. His arms are really good, they're like really good. No matter what you do with them, what you put in them or whatever, uh, if they look normal, if they are straight and weeny, you did a good job and uh, they are good arms. If they can actually look good, no matter what you do. But here you can see what real big guns are. Standing next to Rolly. Rolly has some real big arms because this guy is, is a freak I mean, when it comes to arms. Like He's one of the best arms in the history of the world. I mean, it's him, Lee Priest and Phil Heath. But basically here you can see Rolly standing next to Bonac. Who has better arms? Of course. Of course, Rolly. So there are guys with bigger arms, with better genetics for arms, whose arms don't look suspicious. Now here is another young Bonac photo. 
I don't know if he's younger here or the last photo that we saw, but here his biceps are looking much bigger. Is it just the pose or did he start using something? I don't know. I don't know, but maybe, maybe this is a proof that uh, that's actually all real muscle. Maybe he actually just has insanely crazy weird genetics. I'm not accusing him of anything. Actually, no, no, not in this video. I did that before probably in uh, my older videos, but in this one, no. I'm basically asking you a question. What do you think? Because I just find it a little bit suspicious. Because it looks strange, it looks weird. If the vitamin S, you know what I'm talking about, is used correctly, as the experts say, you will never be able to notice it. So the argument that you can see striations and wanes on his biceps when he's on the stage is just, you know, going to the water. That's not a good argument. If done properly, you will not even be able to notice it. But here, I think I can notice something. Look at the hang on those triceps. It reminds me of Rich Piana. So proportions are way off. It just looks freaking weird. Now, guys, I know there is a lot of fans of William Bonac right here on my channel. And I also love what he brings to the stage. First of all, he was one of the three guys, probably, at this year's Mr. Olympia who was actually conditioned. Second of all, whatever he's doing, it's working for him. It's obviously working very, very well for him. He was second bodybuilder in the world this year. If he showed up with his Arnold Classic shape 2019 or 2018, I think he would have been the Mr. Olympia champion, actually, but it doesn't matter, he wasn't uh, exactly on. I mean, he was on with conditioning, but he wasn't as big as he could be. Never mind. The point that I'm trying to make is, these arms most certainly do look suspicious. The shape is weird. Don't just throw everything away and be a fanboy and say he has good genetics, that's it. Maybe you would sound stupid, maybe he is using a ton of the vitamin S stuff. Uh, there is a rumor that all the pro bodybuilders are using it in one body part or the other. So I wouldn't be comfortable if I was like, wow, he has good genetics and that's it. I'm sure he's not using anything. That would make me sound naive. And uh, what do I know what he's using? Who the hell knows how much or is he using that stuff at all? Once again, uh, there is a rumor that every bodybuilder is using it. So why not him as well? At least a little bit. Because this just does look suspicious. What do you think? Tell me down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe. All the best guys and bye bye.